We've got uh, 7 hours, 47 minutes, or 490 miles to go. They'll get us there around dinner time. Opener, firearm openers tomorrow. So we should get there just in time to do some quick scouting, figure out uh, what we want to do stands-wise, and uh, get to some good camaraderie and deer camp. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow morning be hunting. Can't right? believe it. It's like uh, having two Christmases this year. Yeah. <laughs> two opening days for gun season. This could be great. Yeah. So similar to Wyoming, I've got a chest freezer in the bed of the pickup. A little bit smaller chest freezer this time. Uh, so 
yeah, we're hoping to fill that puppy up. Uh, Doug brought all his meat processing, uh, meat grinder and everything. Uh, if we need it. Yeah. So good times. Let's get to it. <laughs> You guys are a long way from home. Right? It's messed up. He had to come through that bad neighborhood. Put meth on her own. <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Joe. That's Joe. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey there. Did you go through yeah, some bad parts of town? Oh, sure. Did you bring us anything? <laughs> no. Okay, good. No. Just nothing. making sure. Nope. Nothing, nothing illegal. I'm married. That's Joe. Hey, it's like Jeff. Pleasure to meet you. Nice yeah, we know about you. Oh, yeah? Hey, okay. Doug, sure. Hi, Joe. I'm Doug. So, nice what's going on, you Doug? too, man. Nice I'm glad to meet you guys here. made it. It's, uh, you're going to be a little warm for that up here. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know. I mean, <laughs> when we left, it was reasonable. Yeah. We were working in the woods getting ready in our underwear for you guys today. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a picture for us. Well, I came with like 85 at my house. Yeah, we live just north of you. Oh, really? Okay, whereabouts? Well, we just live north of Tampa. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, not too bad. No, I'm an hour and a half from there. It's just south on the water side. Yeah. It's well, he lives further north now. Yeah, near Hudson. Okay. You guys this came up yesterday? Or yeah, last he, night, or yeah he came up. Last uh, night? What time did you come up? Uh, probably got around 10. So, the, so, so everybody's from... Uh, Oh yeah, he used to live by us in Florida. He lives up here now. Is it what? Hemorrhoid. Thank you. For what? I don't know what kind of guy laws you guys got down here, but two of us would ride in the cart and one on the back here. You can if you want. <laughs> so does that everybody know each other? <laughs> For the most part. It's yeah. slippery. Yeah, you know, we first got What's here. What's that? We don't know. They don't they don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I bet. So the two. Okay, so we made it to the camp. Uh, we got the quad and everything loaded up on the trailer. And I'm following uh, Eric and Joe right now. Doug's riding with them. Um, over to one of the properties that they hunt. Uh, we're basically just gonna go do some scouting and checking stands and kind of get figured out a, a game plan this week. Uh, it's a huge area. There's a lot of natural food, um, so you got to kind of be able to break it down, find the the absolute freshest sign, and hunt that. Because I mean, just like anything, I mean the deer could be literally anywhere. There's plenty of cover, so it's not like you're just hunting this little area of cover, and you know, and that's where they're all being funneled to or something it's, it's much larger than that uh, so yeah we'll uh we'll see what happens so the other stand is straight through there so you can actually hunt two people here um i'm gonna pour some corn in there now that real quick so this is corn soaked in beer and water, and they'll just destroy it. So how this works, let me show you. Because right now this is open, so get the pigs used to coming in. When they get, when they start coming in, there's a thing, and we'll leave this open. So they'll come in, there's a trap line that will run from there across here, to here, to here, this one's still here, and then down. So we'll put the corn on top, and this is actually the piece. So when they when they kick it, it'll come across and pull that out of the door. And then the door just... The door shuts. <laughs> and then you catch them, all of them. Every one That's awesome. Yep. So we'll, we'll do that and we'll fix this tomorrow. Sorry guys, this thing is so touchy. Ready? Yep. We're going. Oh, shh. We're, we're going. <laughs> Stuck and I don't have the winch up yet.
I have to go get Ben. He uh, forgot to charge the buggy and he's stuck on the hill. So I'm on my way to save him with Bill. Stay tuned. Come on, Poppy. So, uh, Eric, <laughs> what happened here? You um, forgot to charge the buggy. Or, I mean, I did. I forgot to charge <laughs> That was my job, yeah. <laughs> Got out the big one inch toe strap. That's all we need. <laughs> That's all it takes, right? Okay. Anyways, we're uh, back to camp. Gonna get cleaned up, eat some dinner, and uh, have some good camaraderie. Uh, make a game plan for tomorrow yet on uh, what stands each of us are going to hunt. Super excited for the Georgia opener. Yeah, baby. Taj Mahal we got out here. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That's Jeff. He's done here. Okay. Nice one. Same guy. Same guy. Shooter. Give him another year. One more. I mean, there's a good deer. Yeah. I think I sent you that one. Me. So who made the the fish spread? My wife. Yeah. Well, I, s I smoked it. Okay. And caught it. And that's that's mahi mahi yes. you said. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for uh, bringing that camera. Right That's excellent. Throw went in, hit that shoulder perfect, and deflected, and literally came, came out right <laughs> out. <laughs> and, I mean, just, <laughs> and when you're you're shooting a broadhead, that's you know an inch and a quarter wide. It yeah. just rips a hole. There was, I think we tracked it 20 minutes later. I swear there was still blood dripping off of the corn. It just <laughs> was just. South Georgia, and we're out hunting uh, whitetail, maybe a little bit of pig this week. And uh, the sun's starting to come up in the east. Things are starting to come to life out here. It's a little chilly, 51 degrees that is. It's supposed to warm up to the mid 70s today. Not much wind. I'm sitting in a real nice uh, stand here, overlooking, looks like it used to be a clear cut at one point. It's starting to grow up, but um, a lot of deer sign. Um, yeah, the conditions look fantastic. And uh, just sitting here waiting, and hopefully something uh, comes together this morning. Looking for something with some horns on it for sure. Um, maybe a pig later in the week. 
if the opportunity presents itself. A lot of wildlife out here. It's gorgeous up here. Of course, me being from Florida. Um, but yeah, we'll just uh, hang out and uh, see what happens. And just bless for the opportunity to uh, be invited up here. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Doug, <clears throat> it's uh, October 21 and we are down in Georgia and it is the opening day of gun season. Uh, down here hunting with our friends Eric and Joe. Like I said this morning that they invited us down for a, for a quick little, uh, it's almost a week long hunt. So uh, they invited us down after finding the channel on Camp Benny and uh, <clears throat> we figured we'd come out and have two opening days for a gun this year, so pretty excited about that. I'm hunting this uh, swamp stand right now. You probably see it behind me. A uh, lot of activity in here. There's a food plot just that way um, that's been hit really hard by everything, uh, deer and hogs, and even got a uh, bear on camera this morning, so it's a lot of animals out here so um, yeah it's uh, about 73 degrees it's warm but uh, deer are still moving had them all over cameras this morning saw a nice little spike this morning obviously that's not quite what we're after but um, a couple other guys in camp saw deer so we're we're getting hard after it so yeah um, Chances are, if I see something tonight, it's going to be cutting through the swamp back that way. So we'll keep the camera all set up and ready to roll. Stay tuned. Came out of the woods to get batteries and cameras. And Ben and the boys aren't ready. So he's trying to buy me with fresh antelope jerky. Hey, if you're by my truck, I'll open the doors for you through the app. Psh, must be nice. Have an antelope jerky. Eric just picked me up here. Uh, Jeff and Doug and Joe are heading in as well. Eric swapping out batteries on the trail cam on this plot. Go run into Walmart for a bit and then uh, head back to camp for a little bit probably. Eat some lunch and uh, head up back out this evening. Yeah, hoping for good things. See what happens. Coffee. Looks like a mozzarella pizza. The pizza. Yeah. There's 
couple hotels that are like abandoned and people coming and going and shortly. Well, someone just shot. And it sounds like it has to be one of our, our crew out here that shot. And let's take a look and see. No one said anything yet. So unconnected. Like I said, dear 30. So waiting to see who got what. I'm open to try out my new 350 legend, so I'm chomping at the bit. So we will check back in a few minutes when we find out more. Alright, it's uh, five minutes to six. so we got a lot of time yet. So hopefully that's not it. So, way to go, Joe. All right, update. Nothing's happened since the last update. However, we are in the time that we call Deer 
4.30. The sun is setting and the forest gets quiet. And this is the time that I normally see deer. So, it's a game on from right now. Hopefully, the next time I check in, I'll have some really good news. So, for now, back to the hunt. Well, Tojo's deer 30. Three nice big toe. Not sure if I spoke them or something else did, but two of them left and the third one just hung around, begging for me to shoot it. But I'm what I'm gonna wait. Looking for something with the horns for sure. So, got a few more minutes left, so hopefully something comes out that's got some antlers on there. Um, we'll wait and see. It's getting about dark, so probably wrapping it up shortly. Recap for today. Morning hunt. I uh, didn't have anything coming at all. Change spots. And um, had a lot of activity tonight. I had, I believe, three larger does come in first. And they hem, around, hem and hot around, and then they left. And then I had what looked like a big female with three um, young ones. So they hung around and uh, I thought I heard a deer to my left in the woods, which I couldn't see. And I was hoping that maybe that was a buck going to pop out. But it never happened. So, I mean, I only have a few minutes left of shooting light, so probably going to be it, so my 350 Legend's going to have to wait till tomorrow, so. Not a bad job. You slammed a couple of those? You got them over here already, huh? Man, in the text you sent, she looked huge. Wow, yeah. Nice. Congrats. The other one looks bigger. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's why I shot it, because it was like, I'm like, the other one's bigger. Okay. So I said, let's get that one. There was two of them there. There was one like that size. Okay. And then that one just, then the one, the other one just sat there after I shot that, the, the first one. Yeah, that's a good sure. deer. Which one did you shoot first? Well, this one. This one? This one here, I got down at a stand on the box. You look good. <laughs> and then there was nice. two up in, I parked this and I went to that little house over here. I drove by it like three times. What did they say when you leave? They come out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone said that today? Yep. <laughs> exactly. I get, I get trained to go check out what you were doing. Yep. She. Here's her tracks here. <clears throat> Cutting started running this way. So there's no blood? Uh, that other one didn't have no blood neither. That 350 leg it just pierced. Oh, she was dragging her leg? Yeah, the front shoulder kept, she kept coming down on the front shoulder. No. What direction did she run? This way. Oh, yeah. Right, we'll see you later. We gotta go. Good, Good job. job. Nice. Shoulder, shoulder right shooting. Shoulder, right in the shoulder. Good job, Joe. Good job. Congrats.
Tastes good. Where are you? There you go. Voila. Guess I'll walk back. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> You got your scrub brush, cause actually you can call ahead to make a ring. Call the 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 ring. Van de voeten die te vlaggen. En ik heb een chili te heat up. Als je een vis dip bent. Yes. Dat spike aan de camera this morning or not. Een beetje een dab will do ya. Een couple dabs. Gators and trees up here. 7.38, Sunday morning. Same secret spot. Nothing moving yet. But a possum. Stay tuned, we're gonna get you something. Good morning. It's October 22. It's the second day of Georgia's rifle season firearm season, however you want to say it. Uh, doing the interview uh, a little bit late this morning. Pretty much had deer in the area the whole morning. This first chance I've been able to actually turn the camera on. Couldn't really get them close. I, I could see them all the way out, but uh, and then uh, just behind me had one in the dark, just kind of, I could hear it walking around. Finally, about ten minutes ago, it was blowing at us, blowing at me like crazy. I got the wind scent unit going with sanctuary scent, but uh, she must not have liked that. Uh, so yeah, this is the camp in Georgia where Eric and Joe asked us to come down and hunt with them. These guys are great. Uh, just
just having a wonderful time. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's about 50 degrees this morning. Really light wind hitting me right in the face. And, uh, that spike I saw yesterday morning was straight out in front of me, so uh, just hoping something a lot bigger comes in today. All right. End of the morning hunt here on Sunday morning. Had some activity. I uh, had some does in the morning early, and then I had a couple more does come through uh, probably right around 9.30 a.m. And they weren't pressured at all. They came in, grazed around a little bit, and then they left. And looks like we're about ready to head in for the day. Um, heard a few shots out there, but definitely quieter this morning than yesterday morning as far as shooting goes. Um, just heard some noise over there, so I'm not sure what that was, but they're coming to get me here in a few minutes, so go ahead and get packed up and uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon. I'm no longer in the secret place. I'm in the truck driving to Walmart to get some supplies. Ben, Doug, Jeff, and Joe, they all needed to take a nap. Didn't shoot anything today. We'll see what happens tonight. See you soon. We're live at Joe's favorite place, Walmart. Have to get some snacks, some bush lattes. We'll be back in the woods shortly. When she was doing a show young. with makeup. <laughs> she was young. Got my mom back. And you turn it and then you just slice down thin. But don't hit the root. If you hit the root, you screwed it all up. It'll hold together. Oh, That's why you keep the root so the onion stays together. You turn it. There's your diced onion. Gotcha. That's cool. So you don't really have good. to sit there and yeah. chop it up, right? Yeah. Real simple. Yeah. Yeah. What do you cook off of? I have a like this, this smoker tube that I bought. Smoker tube? It's a stainless steel tube. Mm -hmm. a bunch of holes in it, and you put my Put your wood your wood pellets in there, whatever flavor you want. And then on my gas grill, I have three. All right, uh, what's the date today? The 21st. 22nd. 22nd. This is our third, fourth set. Uh, we're going to change it up. We're, uh, all four of us, five of us, are going to shoot big bucks tonight. So uh, we got a late, busy night ahead of us. But, yeah, once we achieve that, we can sleep in the morning, maybe. Just kidding. Maybe. maybe. Just dropped off the boys. Going to find a place to sit. Hopefully somebody shoots a big one. We'll see. All right, so as I was mentioning, uh, this is set number four. It's day two. And I am switching spots, and I'm super excited about this one. So we'll see what happens. Here's a shot of the stand. Alright, so it's uh, day two. Uh, evening hunt. It's our fourth set. And I'm on near, uh, down near a creek bottom. Uh, off to my right here. Uh, we saw earlier, uh, me and the boys, we went and did a bunch of scouting. And we found 
several scrapes along this edge here. And so I'm sitting in a bit of an open hardwoods right alongside that edge that sweeps up into a uh, cut. So like three or four years ago I had a full clear cut. I don't know how many acres, probably uh, at least 40 acres I'm looking at. Chef, Joe, how hey, are you this evening? Going? Oh, it's just wonderful. What you making there? Uh, we're going to do some um, chicken tacos with some uh, grilled torn tor corn tortillas, and we're going to do an avocado, tomato uh, salsa, and we're going to do some saute green beans with some parmesan and uh, cracked black pepper. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be good. We're going to enjoy it. For real. You gotta get the picture of the taco. Yeah. All together. We'll get the finished product. Yeah, for real. Excuse uh, me. So we got tomato, red onion, cilantro, avocado, lime, olive oil, and some green beans. We're good. A little hot sauce.
10, 23, 23, probably 8, 40 a.m. No deer yet. Working on getting one. Stay tuned. Guys made something a couple videos ago. I want to say not many more people came. Tell you one thing, that that Luke, he's the fastest dog I've ever seen. All right, good evening. It's uh, October 23rd, Monday evening hunt. This is uh, day three and hunt uh, number six for us. Uh, I had a buck. Uh, sighting this morning. I called him in a few times. Um, really was hoping that he'd have four points on a side or more, and I think he did. Um, but I just couldn't tell 100% sure. Um, it's totally fine and legal to, for me to have shot him either way, but it was just kind of hoping they had four on the one side. I ran out of time. Um, if I see him tonight, I might take him. Uh, yeah. Still, uh, had the uh, doe and her little one uh, come through and walk right under the stand this morning. Uh, watching the little one nurse and everything. It was pretty cool. Uh, we went and scouted today uh, another piece of property that the guys have access to. Um, and uh, they've got a couple stands set up there already, but it's it's new to them anyway. So uh, I would say there was a pretty significant amount of deer and hog sign over there. So uh, we'll see how tonight goes. But uh, definitely figuring out hunting over there uh, tomorrow. It's the third day and it is starting to get hot in two ways. It was <clears throat> 80 plus degrees yesterday. It's just about 80 right now. It is warm. But in the other form of getting hot, last night sitting in this stand, I had two separate bucks chasing different does. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> One was right straight out in front of me about a hundred yards and then the other one was only about 50 to 70 yards over here by the time i got him to stop i was going to take a shot at him the only thing i had was his backside basically maybe into the guts <clears throat> not an ethical shot at all so i passed on that so um the rut is definitely starting down here they're in that chasing phase so it's uh, starting to get hot. Monday evening, 10.23, evening hunt, nothing yet. Hoping for some bucks. There's a little action going on, a little red action. Stay tuned, we're gonna bring you something. Good luck. Wait, we need good luck. Send us luck. Only saw two does and it's dark. So I'm on my walk out to the four-wheeler. Pork chops for dinner. See you soon. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> nice.
for reference. You ready? Yes, sir. There you go. I'm going to wrap it overnight, though. Well, it's in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And we'll save that and put the rest on it in the morning. Well, I only said it once. Okay, well, it is Monday evening, October 23rd. Here we are in Wilkinson County, Georgia. And uh, it's the Camp Benny group with our buddies Eric and Joe. And uh, guys, we're just incredibly grateful that you would invite us to join you at camp this week. Uh, we've had a lot of laughs and fun together already so far. We've got oh, yeah. a couple few days left yet. Yeah. Can't complain about the food. Oh my gosh. <laughs> food has been amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Appreciate all your hard work to, I don't know, help get yeah. us all set up and everything. Just let us show up and hunt these stands. I mean, you guys have been working so hard, you know, at uh, just keeping everything up. We're pretty impressed. Yeah, very. guys just playing in the water.
That was hilarious. I got the last four minutes of that little dog just jumping and playing in the water, just all frisky. Hilarious, and I probably missed the first five minutes of it because I had to wait to get the camera on him. That was hilarious, just jumping around, just playing. <laughs> Mama was big, but I didn't have the heart. <clears throat> hey, it's Doug, and uh, <clears throat> hunting down here in Georgia with uh, Camp Benny. It's October 24, and hunting uh, all the way over on the east end of the property. And yeah, this is a pretty nice spot overlooking. Uh, a low area with a creek and uh, it's warm how do you guys do it down here 80 degrees and we're out here hunting <clears throat> but the deer were moving this morning I saw five this morning uh, and we just uh, kicked up a buck as we were dropping Ben off and uh, yeah it was decent he had the 15 inch spread which is a requirement but uh, maybe uh, maybe a six point yeah you know, ben and I are both looking for something a little bit bigger than that down here, and uh, I've seen one. So, uh, just probably caught him running through on some does. So, I uh, wasn't going to set up on him in that area. Um, hoping to catch something running this bottom here. So, yeah, uh, got a wind just from my, um, from my left to right. We can uh, yeah, so it's swirling a little. So, but that's good. So we're hitting at the top of the hill, and uh, any scent that I have been putting out, it's probably just gonna cast up over. I'm really hoping to catch one coming through this creek bottom. So, yeah, October 24. Uh, we've got this hunt and then tomorrow and that's it that's going to wrap it up down here tomorrow morning I'll probably go back across the street where I saw those five does because it's a high travel area for hogs so um, I'd love to shoot one down here so uh, we'll see what happens tonight keep the wind scent unit burning for just a little bit and uh, yeah stay tuned it's about 9.50, Tuesday morning. I'm done sitting, didn't see anything. I'm going to change some cameras, track where the big bucks are, and we're gonna get one. Stay tuned, we're gonna be back with you soon.
this evening. Um, back a few months ago, Eric was sending me some trail cam pics from a particular feeder location they had, and seemed to have a good amount of bucks coming. More importantly, um, it was daytime activity versus, you know, nighttime, legal shooting hours, things like that. So I got to think another day when I was in a stand about, you know, where I might sit next if that hunt wasn't fruitful. And so I sent Erica a text message of one of those pics that he had sent me a while back and said, have we seen this stand yet? And he said, no, actually we can go look at that one next after the hunt. Uh, the feeder's dry, but we can go ahead and add more uh, corn to it. So we did that, and uh, noticed this morning that uh, there were several bucks that visited in, in daylight hours. So there's no stand here. Uh, there's a water backdrop, and um, we're basically down in a bottom. In fact, I see a several hog wallow holes right here. Um, we scouted this the other day. There were some fresh scrapes in it. Uh, so what I decided to do is just grab a bag chair and head on down here and find some cover to nestle into for the evening. Now the deer predominantly come from over my left shoulder and to the left here. So I walked in with my wind scent unit, just checking the wind to see what's the best way to approach this so I don't bump everything. Ironically, when we were on our way to this area, we bumped about a 15 inch, maybe eight point, um, that I believe was even headed here probably. Uh, so we did bump them. But Eric dropped me off, he turned around and took off. I wouldn't be surprised if that buck just kind of sits there and listens for, you know, 20 minutes, half hour, and then starts to make his way back down where he originally planned. So I got my 300 wind mag this evening. Uh, there's a lot of cover between me and, and the feeder. Um, but I see some open lanes. So just hoping to make it all come together uh, this evening. Uh, open to get a buck down. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited. Looks so like a big tree uh, that's covering about half my body up. If they actually did come to the feeder and look down one of the lanes, they shouldn't be able to see my entire, you know, outline. Lots of shrubs and bushes in between too, so that should help break things up. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Hoping to get my first Georgia buck, baby. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, it's Tuesday night. Saw a buck tonight. We were walking so we couldn't get a shot. Nothing else seen. I sat in a new stand that we never sat in before and I can see why we've never sat in it. 
I'm gonna go pick up Ben and Doug. We're gonna go eat some brisket. Stay tuned, we're going to get one. What you got going on over here? Uh, some red snapper. Oh my Black gosh. Black and red snapper. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh man. This is a special treat. That is a special treat. in a while? No. Okay, so I'm just gonna checking it. it. Just We're going to let it leave. Gonna... That's a big piece. Mm. It's getting cold. We need to eat it. Yeah, get your plates and start eating there. Listen, I'm just trying to impress y'all, okay? I want I want to be friends for life. That was what this was all about. It's working. Right? So Wednesday, 6.40 a.m. You guys are all in the woods. I'm driving back to the woods. I forgot my phone. And it's the first day back to school for my kids. So, I had to get it so I can text them from the stand. Someone's gonna shoot a big one today. Good luck, guys. Thank you. 
last on here in Georgia. I had a great time uh, this week with uh, Eric and Joe and Doug and Jeff uh, for so many reasons. It was great. Of course, it was good seeing Jeff because he's one of my best friends and he came up from Florida and I came down from Michigan, so we don't get to see each other in here enough, so that's great. Doug and I are neighbors and best friends as well, and it's great to uh, have the time together, camaraderie, just in the, the ride down and the time in camp in a kind of foreign place, and then to meet new friends like Eric and Joe. Share camp with them. So I'm set up this evening in a spot that, you know, if I look at all the stands and different options uh, throughout the time that we've been here, uh, even though I've hunted this uh, a couple times now already, I feel like this is my best chance of uh, getting a buck. Last night, I had an eight point come in pretty quick, and I didn't know he was an eight point, I thought he was smaller than that. So I was just trying to get a better look at him, a better look at him. I watched him for, now five, ten minutes. Never got a shot. And Eric has a trail camera. Picture, see if he got one, and sure enough, he did. Nice little eight. So, who knows? Maybe I'll see him this evening. If I do, I'm gonna take the shot. Uh, or I know we got a couple other bigger bucks in the area, too. So, but it's crunch time down to the, the final minutes of the hunt. Things aren't favorable. It's in the upper 70s right now, as you can tell by my face. So I tried to sneak down here and I built a little ground blind here. On a wood fall. I am sweating, but the wind is in my favor, thankfully. But yeah, so hoping for good things. It's, it's not going to be an easy shot. It's close. It's like bow hunting with a rifle. <laughs> Best way I could explain it. So I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this adventure that we had uh, here in Georgia. First time ever hunting it. season. I'll get back to on. <laughs>
<clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so here we are. It's uh, Wednesday, October 25, and this is our final hunt down here in Georgia. And uh, other than Joey shooting a couple of does, we've pretty much been skunked. We've seen some uh, good bugs and seen some little bucks, a lot of does, and uh, we've all just pretty much decided we were buck hunting until tonight. Tonight is Georgia's version of Doe-Palooza. So, yeah, we're down here with uh, Eric and Joe uh, in uh, Georgia and hunting their rifle season. So uh, this is, like I said, our last hunt. I decided tonight was the first night that ah cool there went the feeder perfect uh, this is the last night so I was going to actually hunt over a feeder and uh, hopefully get something to come in and uh, fill up our uh, fill up our dough permits um, I think Ben Eric and Jeff are all in the same mindset so we could uh we could have a very late night of processing, but I think it'll be worth it. So, yeah, uh, <clears throat> hunting this box blind and uh, hunting over food. Wind is like right in my face. I can feel it coming through there. Fired up the wind scent unit just in case. But again, it is hot. You can see I'm in t-shirt. It's, uh, this is crazy. Um, I'm ready to get back home to Michigan and, uh, hunt in our 40 and 50 degree weather. The 40 degree mornings sound really good right now to be half of the temperature what it is here. <laughs> but we have had a great time. So tonight we're hoping to, uh, knock a few down. So, uh, stay tuned. All right. Last hunt, Georgia. So today is Wednesday. Just got in a stand, getting all settled in. Be a good time to do a quick little update. Um, this morning, saw the same doe, saw a bobcat, which was cool. Was a big bobcat, wasn't able to get it on camera. It was fast, in and out, so that was cool. Um, we're still, we're still waiting for a buck, but tonight I think we're going to take whatever we can get being last night. So, um, it's a hot one. We're sweating. Just two layers on, so. But uh, it's quiet out right now. And uh, hopefully uh, we get an opportunity tonight. So, look forward to over everything in the recap tonight and um, hopefully we get some deer so we shall see stay tuned well that was pretty cool Look like a good sized doe. Um, gave me a good shot, so I took it. Meat in the freezer on this one, so. <sighs> Last day, very, ex very excited. Got some meat in the freezer, so I'm excited. <sighs> so what time it is, it's uh, 4.44. Georgia 2023 uh, Thursday I was able to get out 
and we had some dopamines that we were able to fill. So I saw this one come in about 5.30 and decided I'd like to harvest this one. So I tried out my new 350 Legend. I've never shot um, this caliber before. Uh, very impressed, very effective round. And uh, this thing jumped right up in the air and uh, ran like, oh, 25 yards. And she landed right here. So super excited to be able to harvest this deer here in Georgia. And uh, looking forward to some, some meals out of this one. So again, very blessed to be here, be able to go with Camp Benny up to Georgia, uh, Eric and Joe down here with all their stands and their work, hard work they put in uh, to give us the opportunity to see all these deer, which we saw a bunch. Uh, a lot of does uh, still, there's been bucks out there. I haven't seen any, but we've had them on camera. Um, a couple other guys have seen some bucks running doe, so looks like the rut is getting pretty close down here in Georgia. So I would imagine in the next couple weeks, it's going to be going like gangbusters down here. So um, again, just a shout out to Eric and Joe for all their hard work. Um, thanks for Camp Benny for inviting me uh, down here to Georgia and uh, looking forward for the next time out in the woods. See you next time. Beautiful buck down. I just realized I think I forgot to hit record. I don't know how I messed that up. This buck just came in from my left. Guys, this is the last hunt, last chance to get this done. And this beautiful buck just walked in. Beautiful buck. Hammered him with the 450 Bushmaster, baby. Yes. He just died down in the creek. All right, man, this sucks. I mean, it's wonderful that I shot a nice buck, but I just turned the camera on when he walked in. I swear I hit record on this remote, but when I looked back, the camera wasn't recording. Shoot. Sorry, guys. But I have not walked up to him yet. I'm gonna go check them out right now, yes. Oh my gosh.
gosh. One, two, one. Oh, my first Georgia buck. This thing's a beast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten, at least nine. worry about it oh my gosh look at you what a beautiful buck well thank you lord what a beautiful buck Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. Just a few moments ago, this buck came in from my left. He was on the move, gave him a shout. I turned on the camera, I thought I hit record, but I didn't. I cannot believe it. Miss filming the shot. Uh, he ran probably 40 yards into this creek, and that's all she wrote. Big buck now, 450 Bushmaster. Wilkinson County, Georgia. It's my first Georgia deer ever. So excited. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Beautiful buck. Forgive me for not shooting this one on film, please. <laughs> it's pretty rare that I mess it, but I messed that one up. But I am happy about this buck. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to text the guys and let them know. Alright, this is just to give you an idea of my little ground blind setup here. Use a tree to block me. I had branches on either side. I actually had branches on the right side there too, but I knocked them over with excitement as I ran out here to check out that box. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. 10 pounds. Yeah. Big one. Yeah. That's a wall mount. <laughs> Today we're in Wilkinson County, Georgia, and uh, we are just super excited to have the opportunity to meet Bull. Bull owns uh, the Flying Bee Hunting Club, and that's where we've been staying this week and had uh, the opportunity to share camp with a, a bunch of other folks that have deer camps as well we're very passionate about deer camp so this was uh you know typically we're experiencing it in michigan but this week we got to experience it in georgia and we really appreciate you 
letting us join you. Um, could you share a little bit about Flying Bee, maybe how the, the name came and, and how long it's, it's been, and maybe some of the camps over the years, that kind of stuff? I had a lounge down in Fort Myers, Florida. I had some uh, people come in. My every day, you know, and uh, they got talking about Georgia, and we decided to come up to Georgia. We joined the hunting club up here, and we didn't make out. So I said, "Well, we'll start our own." Okay. So we we started this club in 1984, and uh, everybody decided to name it the Flying Bee, the same as the, the lounge in Fort Myers. Say so we've been here 39 years. Shot a lot of deer.